Snell's law, also known as Snell-Descartes law and the law of refraction, is a formula used to describe the relationship between the angles of incidence and refraction when referring to light or other waves passing through a boundary between two different isotropic media, such as water, glass, or air. In optics, the law is used in ray tracing to compute the angles of incidence or refraction, and in experimental optics to find the refractive index of a material. The law is also satisfied in metamaterials, which allow light to be bent, backward, at a negative angle of refraction with a negative refractive index. Snell's law states that the ratio of the signs of the angles of incidence and refraction is equivalent to the ratio of phase velocities in the two media, or equivalent to the reciprocal of the ratio of the indices of refraction. Sin theta 2 sin theta 1 equals v 2 v 1 equals n 1 n 2 display style frac sin theta underscore 2 sin theta underscore 1 equals frac v underscore 2 v underscore 1 equals frac n underscore 1 n underscore 2 with each theta display style theta as the angle measured from the normal of the boundary v display style v as the velocity of light in the respective medium si units are meters per second or meter per second lambda display style lambda as the wavelength of light in the respective medium and n display style n as the refractive index which is unitless of the respective medium the law follows from fermat's principle of least time which in turn follows from the propagation of light as waves topic history Ptolemy, in Alexandria, Egypt, had found a relationship regarding refraction angles, but it was inaccurate for angles that were not small. Ptolemy was confident he had found an accurate empirical law, partially as a result of fudging his data to fit theory see, confirmation bias. Alhazen, in his Book of Optics 1021, came closer to discovering the law of refraction, though he did not take this step. The law eventually named after Snell was first accurately described by the Persian scientist Ibn Sal at the Baghdad court in 984. In the manuscript on burning mirrors and lenses, Sal used the law to derive lens shapes that focus light with no geometric aberrations. The law was rediscovered by Thomas Harriot in 1602, who however did not publish his results although he had corresponded with Kepler on this very subject. In 1621, the Dutch astronomer Willebrod Snellius (1580–1626), Snell, derived a mathematically equivalent form that remained unpublished during his lifetime. René Descartes independently derived the law using heuristic momentum conservation arguments in terms of signs in his 1637 essay Dioptrix, and used it to solve a range of optical problems. Rejecting Descartes' solution, Pierre de Fermat arrived at the same solution based solely on his principle of least time. Descartes assumed the speed of light was infinite, yet in his derivation of Snell's law he also assumed the denser the medium, the greater the speed of light. Fermat supported the opposing assumptions, i.e., the speed of light is finite, and his derivation depended upon the speed of light being slower in a denser medium. Fermat's derivation also utilized his invention of adequality, a mathematical procedure equivalent to differential calculus, for finding maxima, minima, and tangents. In his influential mathematics book Geometry, Descartes solves a problem that was worked on by Apollonius of Persia and Pappus of Alexandria. Given n lines L and a point P L on each line, find the locus of points Q such that the lengths of the line segments Q P L satisfy certain conditions. 
For example, when n equals 4, given the lines a, b, c, and d and a point a on a, b on b, and so on, find the locus of points q such that the product q a q b equals the product q c q d. When the lines are not all parallel, Pappas showed that the loci are conics, but when Descartes considered larger n, he obtained cubic and higher degree curves. To show that the cubic curves were interesting, he showed that they arose naturally in optics from Snell's law, according to Dijksterhaus. In De natura luces et proprietate, 1662, Isaac Vossius said that Descartes had seen Snell's paper and concocted his own proof. We now know this charge to be undeserved but it has been adopted many times since." Both Fermat and Huygens repeated this accusation that Descartes had copied Snell. In French, Snell's law is called, «Le loi de Descartes» or «Loi de Snell Descartes». In his 1678 Traité de la Lumière, Christian Huygens showed how Snell's law of signs could be explained by, or derived from, the wave nature of light, using what we have come to call the Huygens-Fresnel principle. With the development of modern optical and electromagnetic theory, the ancient Snell's law was brought into a new stage. In 1962, Blombergen showed that at the boundary of nonlinear medium, the Snell's law should be written in a general form. In 2008 and 2011, plasmonic metasurfaces were also demonstrated to change the reflection and refraction directions of light beam. Explanation <inaudible> 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 Snell's law is used to determine the direction of light rays through refractive media with varying indices of refraction. The indices of refraction of the media, labeled n 1 n 2 and so on, are used to represent the factor by which a light ray's speed decreases when traveling through a refractive medium, such as glass or water, as opposed to its velocity in a vacuum. As light passes the border between media, depending upon the relative refractive indices of the two media, the light will either be refracted to a lesser angle, or a greater one. These angles are measured with respect to the normal line, represented perpendicular to the boundary. In the case of light traveling from air into water, light would be refracted towards the normal line, because the light is slowed down in water, light traveling from water to air would refract away from the normal line. Refraction between two surfaces is also referred to as reversible because if all conditions were identical, the angles would be the same for light propagating in the opposite direction. Snell's law is generally true only for isotropic or specular media, such as glass. In an isotropic media such as some crystals, birefringence may split the refracted ray into two rays, the ordinary or O ray which follows Snell's law, and the other extraordinary or E ray which may not be coplanar with the incident ray. When the light or other wave involved is monochromatic, that is, of a single frequency, Snell's law can also be expressed in terms of a ratio of wavelengths in the two media. Lambda 1 display style lambda underscore 1 and lambda 2 display style lambda underscore 2 sin theta 1 sin theta 2 equals v 1 v 2 equals lambda 1 lambda 2 Display style FRAC sin theta underscore one sin theta underscore two equals FRAC V underscore one V underscore two equals FRAC Lambda underscore one Lambda underscore two Topic Derivations and formula Snell's law can be derived in various ways. 
Topic: <laughs> Derivation from Fermat's principle. Snell's law can be derived from Fermat's principle, which states that the light travels the path which takes the least time. By taking the derivative of the optical path length, the stationary point is found giving the path taken by the light, though the result does not show light taking the least time path, but rather one that is stationary with respect to small variations as there are cases where light actually takes the greatest time path, as in a spherical mirror. In a classic analogy, the area of lower refractive index is replaced by a beach, the area of higher refractive index by the sea, and the fastest way for a rescuer on the beach to get to a drowning person in the sea is to run along a path that follows Snell's law. As shown in the figure to the right, assume the refractive index of medium 1 and medium 2 are n 1 and n 2 display style n underscore 2 respectively light enters medium 2 from medium 1 via point o theta 1 display style theta underscore 1 is the angle of incidence theta 2 display style theta underscore 2 is the angle of refraction. The traveling velocities of light in medium 1 and medium 2 are V 1 equals C N 1 display style V underscore 1 equals C N underscore 1 and V 2 equals C N two display style v underscore two equals c n underscore two respectively. C display style c is the speed of light in vacuum. Let t be the time required for the light to travel from point Q to point P. T equals x two plus a 2 v 1 plus b 2 plus l minus x 2 v 2 Display style t equals frac sqrt x caret two plus a caret two v underscore one plus frac sqrt b caret two plus lx caret two v underscore two d t d x equals x v one x Two plus a two plus minus L minus X V two L minus X two plus B two equals zero Display style FRAC DT DX equals FRAC X V underscore one SQRT X carrot two plus A carrot two plus FRAC LX V underscore two SQRT LX carrot two plus B carrot two equals zero. Stationary point note that X X two plus Two equals sin theta one. Display style frac x sqrt x caret two plus a caret two equals sin theta underscore one l minus x l minus x two plus b 2 
equals sin theta 2 display style frac lx sqrt lx caret 2 plus b caret 2 equals sin theta underscore 2 d t d x equals sin theta 1 v 1 minus sin theta 2 v 2 equals 0 Display style FRAC DT DX equals FRAC sin theta underscore one V underscore one FRAC sin theta underscore two V underscore two equals zero sin theta one V one equals sin theta two V Two display style frac sin theta underscore one v underscore one equals frac sin theta underscore two v underscore two n one sin theta one c equals n two sin theta Two C Display style FRAC N underscore one sin theta underscore one C equals FRAC N underscore two sin theta underscore two C N one sin theta one equals N two sin theta Two display style n underscore one sin theta underscore one equals n underscore two sin theta underscore two. Topic: Derivation from Huygens's principle. Alternatively, Snell's law can be derived using interference of all possible paths of light wave from source to observer. It results in destructive interference everywhere except extrema of phase where interference is constructive which become actual paths. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Derivation from Maxwell's equations. Another way to derive Snell's law involves an application of the general boundary conditions of Maxwell equations for electromagnetic radiation. Topic. Derivation from conservation of energy and momentum Yet another way to derive Snell's law is based on translation symmetry considerations. For example, a homogeneous surface perpendicular to the z-direction cannot change the transverse momentum. Since the propagation vector k is proportional to the photon's momentum the transverse propagation direction k x k y 0 display style k underscore x k underscore y 0 must remain the same in both regions assume without loss of generality a plane of incidence in the z x Display style z x plane k x region one equals k x region two. Display style k underscore x text region underscore one equals k underscore x text region underscore two. Using the well-known dependence of the wave number on the refractive index of the medium, we derive Snell's law immediately. K x region one equals k 
x region two display style k underscore x text region underscore one equals k underscore x text region underscore two n one k zero sin theta one equals n two k zero sin theta two display style n underscore one k underscore zero sin theta underscore one equals n underscore two k underscore zero sin theta underscore two n one sin theta one equals n two sin theta two Display style n underscore one sin theta underscore one equals n underscore two sin theta underscore two where k zero equals two pi lambda zero equals omega c Display style k underscore zero equals frac two pi lambda underscore zero equals frac omega c is the wave number in vacuum. Although no surface is truly homogeneous at the atomic scale, full translational symmetry is an excellent approximation whenever the region is homogeneous on the scale of the light wavelength. Topic. Vector form Given a normalized light vector L pointing from the light source toward the surface, and a normalized plane normal vector n, one can work out the normalized reflected and refracted rays, via the cosines of the angle of incidence theta 1 theta underscore 1 an angle of refraction theta 2 Display style theta underscore two. Without explicitly using the sine values or any trigonometric functions or angles, cos theta one equals minus n l. Display style cos theta underscore one equals math bf n c d o t math bf l. Note. Cos theta one display style cos theta underscore one must be positive, which it will be if n is the normal vector that points from the surface toward the side where the light is coming from, the region with index n one display style n underscore one if cos theta one Display style cos theta underscore one is negative, then n points to the side without the light, so start over with n replaced by its negative. V R E F L E C T equals L plus two cos theta 1 n display style math bf v underscore mathrm reflect equals math bf l plus 2 cos theta underscore 1 math bf n this reflected direction vector points back toward the side of the surface where the light came from now apply snell's law to the ratio of signs to derive the formula for the refracted rays direction vector Sin theta two equals n one n two sin theta one equals n one n two one 
minus cos theta 1 2 Display style sin theta underscore two equals left frac and underscore one and underscore two right sin theta underscore one equals left frac and underscore one and underscore two right sqrt one left cos theta underscore one right carrot two cos theta two equals one minus Sin theta two two equals one minus N one N two two one minus cos theta one two Display style cos theta underscore two equals sqrt one sin theta underscore two carrot two equals sqrt one left frac n underscore one n underscore two right carrot two left one left cos theta underscore one right carrot two right v r e f r a C T equals N one N two L plus N one N two cos theta one minus cos theta two N Display style Math BF V underscore Mathem refract equals left FRAC N underscore one N underscore two right Math BF L plus left FRAC N underscore one N underscore two cos theta underscore one cos theta underscore two right Math BF N The formula may appear simpler in terms of renamed simple values R equals N one N two Display style R equals N underscore one N underscore two and C equals minus N L Display style C equals Math BF N C D O T Math BF L Avoiding any appearance of trig function names or angle names V R E F R A C T equals R L plus R C minus one minus R two one minus C two N Display style Math BF V underscore Mathem refract equals R Math BF L plus left R C S Q R T one R carrot two left one C carrot two right right Math BF N Example L equals Zero point seven zero seven one zero seven minus zero point seven zero seven one zero seven N equals zero one R equals N one N two equals zero point nine Display style Math BF L equals zero point seven zero seven one zero seven minus zero point seven zero seven one zero seven tilde Math BF N equals zero one tilde R equals FRAC N underscore one N underscore two equals zero point nine C equals 
cos theta one equals zero seven hundred seven thousand one hundred seven one minus R two one minus C two equals cos theta two equals zero point seven seven one three six two Display style c equals cos theta underscore one equals zero point seven zero seven one zero seven tilde sqrt one r caret two left one c caret two right equals cos theta underscore two equals zero point seven seven one three six two v r e f l e C T equals zero point seven zero seven one zero seven zero point seven zero seven one zero seven V R E F R A C T equals Zero point six three six three nine six minus zero point seven seven one three six two Display style Math BF V underscore Mathem reflect equals zero point seven zero seven one zero seven zero point seven zero seven one zero seven tilde Math BF V underscore Mathem refract equals zero point six three six three nine six minus zero point seven seven one three six two the cosine values may be saved and used in the Fresnel equations for working out the intensity of the resulting rays. Total internal reflection is indicated by a negative radicand in the equation for cos theta two, display style cos theta underscore two, which can only happen for rays crossing into a less dense medium n two n one, display style n underscore two. Topic. Total internal reflection and critical angle When light travels from a medium with a higher refractive index to one with a lower refractive index, Snell's law seems to require in some cases whenever the angle of incidence is large enough that the sign of the angle of refraction be greater than 1. This of course is impossible, and the light in such cases is completely reflected by the boundary, a phenomenon known as total internal reflection. The largest possible angle of incidence which still results in a refracted ray is called the critical angle, in this case the refracted ray travels along the boundary between the two media. For example, consider a ray of light moving from water to air with an angle of incidence of 50 degrees. The refractive indices of water and air are approximately 1.333 and 1, respectively, so Snell's law gives us the relation sin theta 2 equals n 1 n 2 sin theta 1 equals 1.333 1 sin 50 equals 1.333 0 0.766 equals 1.021 Display style sin theta underscore two equals frac n underscore one n underscore two sin theta underscore one equals frac one point three 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 one c d o t sin left fifty carat circ right equals one point three 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 c d o t zero point seven six six equals one point zero two one, which is impossible to satisfy. The critical angle theta crit is the value of theta one for which theta two equals ninety degrees. Theta crit equals arcsine n two n one 
sin theta two equals arc sine n two n one equals forty eight point six Display style theta underscore text crit equals arc sine left frac n underscore two n underscore one sin theta underscore two right equals arc sine frac n underscore two n underscore one equals forty eight point six carat circ. Topic dispersion. In many wave propagation media, wave velocity changes with frequency or wavelength of the waves, this is true of light propagation in most transparent substances other than a vacuum. These media are called dispersive. The result is that the angles determined by Snell's law also depend on frequency or wavelength, so that a ray of mixed wavelengths, such as white light, will spread or disperse. Such dispersion of light in glass or water underlies the origin of rainbows and other optical phenomena, in which different wavelengths appear as different colors. In optical instruments, dispersion leads to chromatic aberration, a color-dependent blurring that sometimes is the resolution-limiting effect. This was especially true in refracting telescopes, before the invention of achromatic objective lenses. Lossy, absorbing, or conducting media In a conducting medium, permittivity and index of refraction are complex-valued. Consequently, so are the angle of refraction and the wave vector. This implies that, while the surfaces of constant real phase are planes whose normals make an angle equal to the angle of refraction with the interface normal, the surfaces of constant amplitude, in contrast, are planes parallel to the interface itself. Since these two planes do not in general coincide with each other, the wave is said to be inhomogeneous. The refracted wave is exponentially attenuated, with exponent proportional to the imaginary component of the index of refraction. See also List of refractive indices The refractive index versus wavelength of light Evanescent wave Reflection physics. Snell's window Calculus of variations Brachistochrone curve for a simple proof by Jacob Bernoulli Hamiltonian optics Computation of radio wave attenuation in the atmosphere Shore line effect N-slit interferometric equation <laughs>